Well, greetings, everybody. How is everybody today? Um, this is the HearthMat Institute for the Schumann Resonance. And today I want to cover what I have learned about the spectrogram calendar. Okay. And as you can see, right over there, is the uh, magneto magnetometer that measures the Schumann resonance power. But right now, I'm going to go over a couple of these with you and show you something. Okay? Hang on. Now, I want to show you, I've got a few pulled up up, up here. Um, show you, uh, you can see the Schumann resonances, okay? Uh, that's what you can see here. But another thing that you can see is, see these lines down here? Okay, right there. Those are the Earth's heartbeat. That's the heartbeat, and these are the Schumann resonances. That's one of them. Number two, as you can see, Again, you have these lines right here, okay, and some lines that go like that, but this is another heartbeat, okay, now here's another heartbeat, and these are all from different countries, by the way, uh, trying to figure out why each country, uh, why all of our countries are running under different frequencies. Number four, whatever. Now, I don't remember which one I pulled that off of, but uh, no matter. Okay. Sorry. Here you can see it again. The pulses right there. The heartbeat and the resonances. Again, this is a really good example. All of this. Are, wow, look at that. The Schumann resonance right here started before the Earth's heartbeat. Um, I just noticed that. But, um, and also I wanted to show you. Let me find a better, a better one. Okay, here are, again, these lines down here. Those are the heartbeats. Now, on this graph, you can see these uh, up and down lines, okay? And they start at 12 UTC time. So, I counted 12, 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 1 in the afternoon, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 p.m., 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, so during midnight, 1, 2, 3, 4, starting at 5 in the morning, um, the Earth started, the Earth's beat started. Okay. And it went on to... backwards in my head. It seems like five. Well, that was a big long pulse, wasn't it? Or a big long heartbeat. Anyway, again, look at that one. Again, you can see these lines. That is the pulse. Right there. Again, Here's the pulses, and here are some pulses. Well, those are up, up a little bit higher, those pulses got. But right here, okay, next one. Right here, that's the pulse. It's the heartbeat, right there. And that's the heartbeat. Uh, I don't know what's up with the black, but... Um, I don't know. 
So I just wanted to point that out to you. And I just wanted to update you with today's Schumann resonance. Okay, let's get to present. Let's go back a day. Okay, May 30th. Dang, look at that. Look at that. Wow. So, let's go down here and see what the power has to say today. This is, uh, let's see, seven days. Okay. So, here we are. May 31st. And the last reading, I guess, was at 4 o'clock in the morning, I think. Hold on. I might be able to narrow that down. Okay. Let's see. Well, United States is up at 90 as of 4 o'clock this morning. And 003 again is Lithuania. They're 161, 1004 is Alberta, Canada, and they're at 150. 150, 1005 uh, is New Zealand. So 005 is at 113 hertz. And 006, South Africa, is down to a 127. So I'm seeing a decrease in the spikes. Let's do um, 14 days. Let's get them all squished. There we go. Okay. So obviously up there, Africa 006 was at a 317.5 hertz. Okay. So to me, kind of looks like the Schumann resonances uh, are not quite as intense. They're going back down just, just slightly, but they're still extremely high. You know, I try to find countries that, at some point, might have the same frequency, like right there, 005. No, oh, 06, oops. Nah, lost it. 113 and 113.5. But I do try and find any that actually kind of match up. See, right here they connect. Okay, so May 28th on Sunday, between 1800 and 1959. See the 81.5 and 81.5? That was New Zealand. Oh boy. Bear with me. Oh, it was 06, wasn't it? I was trying to find where they meet. Just bear with me. Oh, right there. Okay, so... 113, 115. Sorry, I keep messing with this thing. So, you might just have to... Scroll the... You know, stop the video and find it. But it's... Right. Anyways, I'm I'm getting I'm talking to myself instead of talking to you people. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
It's just my it's my brain is working. So anyways, we did have a spike. Let me look at that. Let's do year to date. Okay. So, January 1st. Look at those numbers. Okay. Even on January 1st, the GC1001 is United States. We were at 35.375. We were still higher than the normal. Okay. But see, I want to try and find out during these peaks, these peak times, like right there, uh, South Africa got to 375.375. And over here, I wish I knew it was going 406.125. That was March. Oh, March 25th. Okay. Wow. I'd like to know what happened on March 25th. And then... May 10th. So, again... It seems like between January and... So, the last highest one was here. And April 14th, uh, something happened. <laughs> you know, between the beginning of January and uh, Friday, April 14th, something happened. Okay. But see, as you can see, everything's kind of going back down. But there's still high, high frequencies. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot more research on this. And I'm going to try and gather enough information to see if any particular events happened. Uh, either before or after these peaks. And that's going to take a while. It's going to take a while of research. So I'm going to have to do some archival history work. Alright, other than that, uh, I think I've bored you all enough. So, other than that, I do appreciate you watching, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Peace.